Welcome to Kimmy's Crafts, Episode 1. Today I want to show you how to make a photo corner. For those of you that don't know what a photo corner looks like, it usually comes in a box like this and is about $4 for a box. Last week I was making a project and I really wanted some more. So I thought, there's got to be a way. I don't want to go to Michael's today. There's got to be a way to make these. So I discovered how to do that with you. So this is how they would go on a photo. You can just hug a photo. And all you really need is tape if you worry about the edges on the back, scissors, scrap paper cut at four inches length, and then you can just pick your own width. All mine are cut in one, one and a half, and two inches. And I find that the one inch is the easiest to work with just plain, and the one and a half is the easiest to work with if you want to trim it or do different things with it. I also am using my EK Success Scallop with Diamonds and my Pinking Shears for an edge, different thing, um, an edge. And also I'm going to use some markers to jazz it up a little, some pins. You can do whatever you want to do. That's a lot of fun. So here we go. This is just a plain one. And what you're going to do is you fold the side that you want to show on your photo down. This is solid so it doesn't matter. Fold it down midway. Make the other side meet. And it's okay if it doesn't meet perfect like that. However, that one did seem to do just right. And then take a piece of tape. And I like to use my folder to fold it down. And by the way, if you don't have one of these, if you have a letter opener, they work great too. So, that is your simple photo folder. And it just slides on. Just like so. Just that easy. So we're going to do one more than in this regular kind. Fold your pattern side would be down. Find the middle point. Fold down like a triangle. Make a triangle. And do the other side and meet in the middle. See this didn't meet this time so you can watch me trim it. Take your folder. Voila. Okay. And then you can trim it to make it even. Now, what I did on this other one was I just kind of did some faux stitching with my white gel pen and some little stars to make it look a little western since we're in a, at the State Fair of Texas. So that's as easy as it is and you just make your photo corner like so. Now, say I want to do a little bit different. I want to use a photo, an edge, okay? So first one I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my pinking shears, cut it. You can do the waves, you can do whatever you want. Now I am going to say the bigger the design, you might have to trim and make like a little V, like this, to cut off the excess so it doesn't show on your photo, but not a problem. So, I've used the pinking shear, I'm going to put the decorative size down here and the straight edge up here. Find your midpoint. Find your midpoint again, and this is some of my favorite paper, I'm not sure the name of it, but I got it at Joann's, and it's floral, it's floral flower swirls on one side, and then on the other side it's just plain chocolate. And you just go in here and trim that, and if you're doing a wider one, you can do it um, bigger and um, longer if you want than four inches. And you just slide it on like that. Ta-da! Now, I'm going to show you one last one really easily. Same thing that we did with the other one, but this time you're just going to run your paper through your edger. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and trim that instead of running it through. Okay, same thing. Decorative edge at the bottom side that I want to show on my photo and with this funky green to show just because it shows up better. Fold down midpoint. Fold down midpoint. Use your folder to make the creases better. Little piece of tape. I'm not even going to trim this one. And there you go. A fun decorative edge. So just think of the possibilities. I think this is a great way to just hug your photo on your page and just really make it pop. Never mind that somebody's framing it like this. 
um, however they want to do different ones on the same page, whatever you want to do. Use your creativity. Really inexpensive to do, lots of fun, great way to use your scraps.